This is a video review of the Iron Man Heroes Return Suit from Marvel Legends. As you can see, I've got the figure, his extra hands, and the blast effect parts next to him. Take a look at the box. We see a picture of the figure on the front. Uh, this a picture of a builder figure on the side. Now, it doesn't say Iron Man. It doesn't come with any of these parts. So it's more of an ad for this wave. Although, he probably came in this wave. It's some art of Iron Man on the side. And another picture of Iron Man in the back. Showing his repulsor hands. And using the blast effect parts. Now, to look at the figure itself. There it is. This is a much newer design than the... Iron Man 1.0 I showed earlier. But I think it's a still more, still a very classic looking figure. You got this sort of, uh, got these uh, pointy parts of the mask. Pointing out, it's gold on the thighs and the bicep, just like the, just like many of the classic Iron Man armors. But you can tell there are some things that make it look look a bit newer. Noticeably, these shoulder pads. I like the design of this arc reactor. These shoulder pads still got a lot, of, a lot of musculature. Molded throughout the figure. Like these gold panel lines on the gauntlets. The knee pads look nice. And you see here, you got on the back, it's sort of a symbol, the front. It's almost kind of like a Superman logo, but without the S inside. I like this deet, I like this, these gold panel lines on the back of the boots, too. Well, it's a very slightly more modern version of the classic Iron Man suit. Which I dig. Now as for the articulation. Hands on a ball joint. The arms can go. Around. Uh, the shoulders are actually attached to the. Shoulder pads are actually attached to the bicep. So. Actually. Go all the way around. Let's go up. Out. Bicep rotation. Double bended. The elbows. And the knees. Got some thigh rotation. Let's go forward. Do this. We go out. Got some nice ab crunch and waist rotation here. Wrist swivel here. Uh, there is a joint in the hands. So go. These go side to side. Now for a size comparison, here he is next to the Iron Man Hot Toys Mark 7. I know it's kind of, actually it is unfair to compare a $500 Iron Man Hot Toys figure next to a $25 Marvel Legends. This is just to show how big it is. I may review this someday. I've done Hot Toys Iron Man reviews before, I think. I've done the Star Boost, the Heartbreaker, and I think the Mark 42 or 43, that suit from Iron Man that was then painted red in the Age of Ultron. All right, moving on. You can actually 
attach these repulsor hands on here. Last effect parts on here. Put them on the boots. Which is pretty awesome. Unfortunately, there's no wrist still holding these hands. It looks like these still have the pins in the sides. Unlike that previous Iron Man figure, so I think this is using a lot of old parts. I'm actually really interested in collecting these Iron Man Marvel Legends figures because I want to make a Hall of Armor with the Marvel Legends figures. Looks pretty cool with the blast effect parts. Even if you don't without the wrist. Uh, articulation still looks cool on display. So all in all, I think this is a very awesome figure. Great articulation from Marvel Legends. As usual, it's a very good balance between the classic and modern Iron Man looks. Please like this video, and if you do, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's it for my review. Bye.